Hi guys, this is Minty Mantaiko, and today I'll be starting a new A5 ring binder journal. Before I start, I just want to show you guys my card journal. It is a Chen dotted journal, which I use for almost everything like fan art, travel logs, playlists, occasion logs, and of course my weekly spreads. So I use it really often, and when I make mistakes, I'll just stick the pages together or tear the pages away, so it really depletes the journal very fast. So I decided that I'm gonna use this journal only for planning like my weekly spreads and I'll move all the masculinian spreads to a new binder journal. I got my new journal from KKK online. I like that it's holographic and comes with a zip and the best part is it was on sale. I won't be carrying it around too often so it doesn't matter to me that it is a little bit bulky. I ripped off two pages of my dotted journal and stick them on here to be the covers of my dividers. These are Sung Yun and Sung Woo's fan art that I've drawn. I am a fan of X1 and once I want it, forever I want it. It doesn't matter that they have to spend it. I chose A5 over A6 because I'd rather have more space to fill up instead of having not enough space. The journal comes with default pages like the weekly, monthly planning pages and also some other miscellaneous sheets that we can use but I'll be removing some of them because I don't really need them. I'll be keeping the monthly spreads on this journal because I think I can actually decorate on them and mark down some special dates and also use them as a reference like a calendar but I'll be shifting the ruler and the stick sheets to another section. As for the weekly spread, I think I'll be removing them because I do my weekly spreads on my dotted journal and I did try for a few days writing down daily tasks on this section but it didn't really work for me so I'll put them in another binder and maybe give it to someone else. There's also this notes and to-do list section which I'll remove them and combine them all behind. They also have this expenses section. I was struggling to decide if I want to start recording my expenses because of these sheets but I decided that I prefer to live in ignorance regarding how much I've spent. I also took the birthdays and anniversary sheets away because I think I don't really need them. And the last section is actually a folder and some notepad. I'll be keeping them where they are. So after removing all the things that I don't need, I went on to actually put back the papers that I want to keep and combine them to the last section of the journal. And now it's time to decide what section I want to have in this journal and I'm using the sticker sheet provided in this journal to label them. So the first tab is monthly where I'll incorporate the calendars into my journal habits. Second is events, where I'll be recording birthdays, celebrations, and other special occasions. Thirdly, playlist. This is my favorite part of journaling, because music plays a big part in my life. Penning down titles and creating playlists is just similar to recording down my life. The fourth section is for traveling. And sadly, I think this section will be quite empty this year because it's so difficult to travel out due to the current coronavirus situation. I really hope that everyone can be healthy and this epidemic will be over soon. 
The next step was K-pop and concerts. Attending concerts are such great motivation for me in my life, and many concerts were actually cancelled due to the situation. But it's okay. We will move on, and I'll be recording some of my favorite comebacks in this section. The second last tab is labeled Others, where all the random spreads will be put under. And the last one is Notes, where all the supplies that came with this journal is. So I really hope that I can actually use them up. It was so difficult to stick on the labels, maybe because I have fat fingers. I made a mistake on the purple label, so the labels are in different colors now. But it's okay. I don't really mind. So I bought this bunny and ducky folder from 10 by 10, and I'm putting it with the original folder that came with this journal. Me being me, very extra, so I decided to add something to the cover. I cut out a piece from a refill sheet, and I wanted to. Include a coat on it. The coat that I want to include on the cover page is "It Can't Always Be the Same." This coat is actually one of the tattoos that the guy of my cover page has, and he actually tattooed it with a sad and smiley face. I think it really just sum up life. And a very fitting coat for a journal. I used different style of alphabet stickers to form the coat, and this is the first one. It is from Kaiser Craft. And this one I'm using is also Kaiser Crops, and it's also from a sticker book. I'll try to include all the supplies I used today under the description. Do check them out. The last one I got is the Recorder Factory on Graphic ABC stickers. I also got them from Ten by Ten. And I went on to use some Ardian's、um, daily deco stickers to decorate the shit. And the final step is to put on some accessories. The first keyring was given to me by a friend. I wanted to put it on the zipper, but I think it's a little bit annoying.、And、so I put it on the front page with my cover. I'm adding a second one, which is a keyring of Songu. Which I designed, and I'm selling them on my Etsy shop. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be obstructive to put it there, but it's okay. Songwoo can stay there, and I'll see how it goes. So I thought I'm done, but 
I just feel like adding some more stickers to the front page. So I'm adding some audience very nice retro stickers to the Sonyun's page. I think I might decorate the other dividers for another video. And I think I'm almost done with the generic setup of this journal. I can't wait to fill up the journal with the A5 refills I bought from 10x10. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment and like if you enjoy it. Thank you.